Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Borough Home Bar. This is my first video of the new year of 2024. I've had a very busy January and uh, yeah, I actually didn't realise that it was going to take me so long to, to make another video, but here I am and hopefully it won't be as long until the next one. So I hope all of you are well and your 2024 is going good so far. Um, for Christmas, which now seems like ages ago, I got lots and lots of cocktail books um, from family and friends for presents and what I'm going to make a cocktail today from one of these books. So one of the books I got was the Hendrix Gin, uh, The Curious Cocktail Cabinet, uh, which is a fab book and yeah, I'm going to make one of the, the cocktails in here. Now this is a Hendrix Gin cocktail book, I don't have any Hendrix Gin, <laughs> annoyingly, so apologies to Hendrix Gin people. Um, I actually don't even have any just normal gin at the moment, it all seems to be flavoured. So what I'm going to do is use my Wrecking Coast Clotted Cream Gin, which is slightly sweeter than other gins and kind of has the sort of, I don't know, like the feel of cream, but it's not, I don't know. I, I'm going to use that because it's the only one that's going to go in this basically. And note to self, I do need to get some, some gin next time I go shopping. Um, the cocktail I'm going to make is called Angel Face Martini. I was drawn to it because I quite like the name. <laughs> and dead simple, there's just three things in it. So there's gin, there's apricot liqueur, and there is apple brandy or Calvados. Um, and that is it. So I thought it sounded like a really interesting martini. And that's why I've decided to make it today. So we're not going to be shaking this drink because it's there's nothing in it to shake there's no um fruit juice or anything like that or juices so we're just going to do a mixed cocktail today and it calls for 40 mils of gin so we're going to start with the wrecking coast clotted cream gin so i'm sure it will be delicious i've never made a drink with this gin and it not be delicious to be honest so in here 40 mils Lovely, and then it just is 30 mils each of the apricot liqueur and the apple brandy. Now, if you don't have apricot liqueur, you could um, substitute peach liqueur because a lot of people might have peach instead. Um, that'd be absolutely fine. I happen to have both, so I had a look and um, got this out from the back of my bar. I've not used it in a little while. So that's the apricot, and then again, the same just 30 mils of the Calvados which is great because I actually haven't used this in a while and I'm always looking for new things to do with it. There you go, I mean, how simple was that? Literally just flinging three things in a glass and <laughs> give it a mix and voila. Okay, so I'm gonna add ice. And then we're just gonna give this a little shake. No, no we're not. I see I'm so used to saying that. Literally not shaking it. But I give it a start, a really good start. Just get really nice and cold. You can usually feel the glass as well when it's kind of ready to go. You don't want to do any more than I think it's like twenty I think it's to type I might be talking absolute rubbish. But I remember reading somewhere and I've mentioned it before that cocktail shaking shouldn't be more than sixteen seconds absolutely no idea if that's right so I tend to stir the same amount of time that I would shake a cocktail for basically which is under 20 seconds and I think I've probably done more than 20 seconds now <laughs> okay so that is my cocktail all stirred up because it is a martini or martini variation I do like to have my martinis in a chilled glass so I have some glasses in the freezer which is a must by the way you need to always just have some glasses in the freezer so just makes such a difference to drinks especially quite um sort of boozy forward drinks like this you know like a martini it really does call for a lovely chilled glass so in here with the angel face martini just looks so classy absolutely love it and then the garnish just calls for um some orange peel i'm just gonna Peel a little bit off here and I'm just going to spritz a bit on the top and just dump it in. So there we go, that is my angel face martini. 
So I do like the ice glass. I think it gives it a little bit of something because the garnish isn't quite as razzmatazz as what it usually would be. I usually try and do something different with my garnishes, but I was going by this book exactly and it called for just an orange twist, so that's what it is. But I think the chilled glass really makes a difference as well. So cheers, let's have a little taste of this martini. Oh, really nice, lovely. The apricot is coming through the most, I would say. It tastes very apricot-y. Um, yeah, you get the apple brandy coming after you kind of swallow and have the first initial apricot hit, if that makes sense. Mm. It is lovely. It's strong, obviously, very boozy. Um, but really, really nice. That is a lovely martini. And if you like martinis, but you just want something a little different, then I think that's a really good one. It's slightly more fruity as well, so people that think martinis are too strong for them, you know, martinis are literally just pure gin and a bit of vermouth. No vermouth in this, there is the gin, but then you have the sweetness of the apricot and the, the apple brand in there as well. So that is a delight, that's a really good cocktail and a great first cocktail for 2024, I hope you agree. Thank you so much for joining me on the Borough Home Bar and catch me next time while I will be making, hopefully, another delicious cocktail. Cheers and happy cocktailing.